What's up guys, it's Louis here from Smart Home Sounds and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm back with a different type of video for you guys, which is actually the first in a series that we're doing right here on our channel, taking you behind the scenes so you get to see a little bit more about us here at Smart Home Sounds and what we get up to in a typical week. So in this first video, we're going to be showing you around a brand new state-of-the-art music studio and having a look at some of the fantastic kit that they've got there. But first, it's been very busy around here in the last few weeks. We've had some big videos go live, including a review of the new IKEA Symphonisk picture frame speaker, which you guys have been really enjoying. If you're looking for a new TV, we recently uploaded a full guide to Sony's 2021 lineup to help you guys work out which model could be the one for you. So do take a look at that. As always, if you have any reviews you'd like to see on our channel, then please comment them down below as we're always really interested to see what products you guys are interested in. We've also been super busy down here in the studio, playing around with some different setups for you guys to hopefully take our videos to the next level, which is something we are always pushing. We've also got some pretty cool new kit recently as well. Have you seen our slider at work in some of our most recent videos? <laughs> Other than that, it's been business as usual with our team busy helping you guys out with all of your audio visual needs. Right, I'm going to head into Gloucester and check out this brand new £2 million music studio. So obviously as a company of music lovers, we are really keen to get involved and help out with the charity where possible. It's great that we're able to help out a local charity with a music link and shared passion and you might spot some Sonos speakers and Sony TVs that we were more than happy to donate. So we're really excited to go and check out this new studio. And if you're into your music, you're into the industry, or just want to have a look around some really cool state-of-the-art, brand new technology, then I think you're going to really enjoy this video. And just before we head over, if you are local to Gloucester, then make sure you definitely check this out. I've left all the information you need for the Music Works in the description box below. So with all that being said, let's go check it out. So here we are guys, we're now inside the Music Works. I'm joined by Shiv. Now before he takes us on a tour around the studio, we're just gonna have a little bit of a chat about this fantastic new setup. So Shiv, can you tell us a little bit more about this space and the Music Works in general? Sure, uh, my name's Shivan. I work as senior engineer here at the Music Works. Um, and the Music Works is an organization that focuses, focuses on helping young people uh, from challenging circumstances, have a career or just an out through music. Um, and now we've built this new studio in Gloucester. We've got so many different types of rooms from sensory spaces, um, professional studio rooms, and to a, a performance space. So a lot of people from Gloucester uh, don't have access to the high-end facilities that you might get in various studios in London or Bristol or wherever else in the country. Um, so we hope to give people the, or give young people the access to facilities um, for free or at super cheap prices. So that, yeah, they can make music or use music to help them with their personal or challenging circumstances. Various different sponsors have helped us as well along the way. Um, some of them are Warner Chapel Music. Our speakers are all fully sponsored by Genelec. So we're very fortunate as well that we've been helped out um, by Smart Home Sounds. Uh, every studio room has a TV, uh, which helps us to see through into the other studios. Our webcams as well and also our event space and our social working area is kitted out with a Sonos system, so we've got music everywhere in the hub. Okay, so we're just about to head off on a tour around the studio now. We just managed to grab Marcus, the studio manager. He's going to be taking us around. So yeah, on to you guys. Really excited to check out this space. Cool, thanks. Well, thanks for coming to the Music Works. So yeah, this is our studio's corridor. We're just going to dive into some of our, our studio spaces. Yeah, so cool. um, this is our uh, broadcast room, which is, um, again, another kind of multifunctional space mm -hmm. where young people can come in and make podcasts. So yeah. in terms of like, visual and audio perspective again it's it's perfect for that mm -hmm. um we also do live radio shows so we're using uh, we use sure sm7b mics i'm sure anybody who's uh, watched kind of podcasts and stuff like that has seen these mics they're yeah. industry standard mm -hmm. uh, the same with our road podcaster uh, mixing console uh, again it's an industry standard piece of kit um, we use Apple computers um, linking with OBS and it's just all top end kit really. It's all, yeah. it's all kit that anybody Amazing. will find in like the best, uh, best production facilities in the, in the country really. 
So these are our Genlex studios. Let's go have a look. So it's a bit dark in here. We've got the vibe on. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> this is our uh, Studio 2 production room. Mm -hmm. So um, as I was saying, complex of studio rooms. This space is the main kind of control room for one of our two sort of studio okay. spaces where yep. you'd have a traditional control room or production mm -hmm. room where you see your mixing desk and uh, yep. your, produc your en production and engineer will work in here. And then, yeah, through, through to the other room, which is our live room, which is where the musicians perform. Again, it's really, really high quality in terms of yeah. the finish as well. So actually in terms of reflections and reverb times and stuff like that, mm. uh, really, really awesome. Um, yeah. We've got some really good kit in here as well. So we'll be monitoring on Genlex speakers. Yep. Um, and we use Focusrite uh, audio interfaces as well. So mm -hmm. again, really fantastic high end yeah. equipment. So moving across the, across the landing. Yeah, yeah. So effectively, this is our live room for Studios 2. Yeah. So it's kind of the studio is made up of the two rooms. Yep. And they're joined together via um, an audio networking platform called Dante. Okay. So it's audio over IP and the rooms are connected to each other. Yeah. And I guess as well, Shivan's just made a good point. You'd normally see, and like if you think of a traditional music studio, you'd see a big window yeah. and with a big you know, kind of vision through from one room to the other. Yeah. Well, this is where smart home sounds come in <laughs> and it helps us out with our Sony TVs yeah, awesome. um, and our webcam system. So basically in all of our rooms, in all of our production rooms, you can see in through the TVs, through webcams that are linked in with the others. Ah, cool. Yeah, so yeah. kind of gone in the days of we've having got, big windows, yeah, we've got, just looking through we've got real time webcam. webcam. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, brilliant. Got sharp markers things. for the uh, branded kit. Yeah, I was just going to mention <laughs> that. Yeah, I love that. Rep really nice brand. little touch. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Who's the drummer in the group here then? Well, surprisingly, Louis. <laughs> nice. Yeah. No, I'm not, not going to embarrass myself again. Are you sure? Yeah, uh, no, I'm 100% I'm okay. sure. We've, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So we're just going to go across the corridor into Studio One now. Yeah. So this is the sort of flagship room of our Warner Chapel Music Studios. This is our, yeah, this is, this is the main space really. Mm -hmm. In terms of production, um, what young people can do in here and what are, you know, what people that we interact with can do is make high quality music, produce high quality sounds. Yeah. And, you know, it really is the best recording environment. And yeah, I've, and from like, a, from like a workflow perspective, mm. the idea is that, you know, technology's changed, music industry's changed, and so we've brought our studios right up to speed with the latest that's available. Yeah. And what we're able to do is help pass that on to the community and help pass it on yeah. to the young people that are gonna be working in the studios so that they are working with the latest technology that's yeah. around. Yeah. From a hardware perspective, yeah. uh, we have our Focusrite Red 16 line audio interfaces. So that's the audio engine that's doing all of the conversion. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got a lot of nice outboard equipment as well. So we've got some really cool mic preamps from API. Yep. Uh, we've got some really, really awesome EQs from Rupert Neve Designs EQs. We have a retro double Y compressor, uh, which again, for in terms of kind of valve compression, is some of the warmest, nicest sounding audio yeah, compression nice. that you can get. And uh, we have a broadcast the M7 reverb as well, which is the best reverb that you can buy. It really is so, well, so good. We're super lucky to have that one, I think. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, massively, <laughs> massively. See our main Genelec monitors yeah, in this space yeah. as well, which are, they are absolute beasts and they sound so, so, so good. Yeah, and then all the interactivity in terms of controlling the software. So in this studio, we have Pro Tools, Logic Pro, yeah. um, and then all of that can be controlled by our Avid, uh, Avid Control. So we've got Pro Tools Dock, yeah. and we've got Avid S1, and, and the iPad connectivity. It's all just about interactivity. So the mm -hmm. way in which that you can use the software is all just at your fingertips, really. It's just super, super yeah. easy and super, Amazing. super cool. And so similar to, um, like we saw just across in Studio 2, so is this room also linked yeah. To the live room that we've got. Yeah, they're next not. Door? It's not or just linked it? to the live room. The facility it. is linked all rooms Everything. to each other. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, cool. Okay. So you could be in any production room recording any of the live spaces uh, or wow. any of the rooms, um, and it's all just through our our Dante network. So it's just yeah. it's a simple Cat five single Cat five cable mm -hmm. that can connect one space to another. Perfect. Yeah, it's yeah, really amazing. really good. Yeah, really really cool. Should Great. We have a look in the live yeah, room. Yes, have a look. Yeah. Yeah. So live room one is like the main live room. Um, and it's multifunctional, as with most of our spaces. Not only is this a really awesome recording space, 
It doubles as a great practice room as well. So yeah. we can we can use this room for rehearsals. Mm -hmm. And again, our, our our sponsors in music has given us this Alto mixing console yeah. and Alto speakers for nice. us to be able to use for band practices and, and mm -hmm. performances within the room. Yeah. And then we've got our microphone preamps from Rupert Needs Designs and Focusrite for the main studio. So if you're connected through to the control room, we plug into these preamps. Yeah. We yeah. support a lot of young, vulnerable people. We're really, really lucky that we're able to work with those kids because honestly, mm. being able to offer that as a place where young people could come in yeah. and just express themselves and be themselves. And yeah. you know, even if they're not massively into music, we can give them avenues and different ways of working. And it really builds them as, as people. Mm. It's not just about going, you know, you're a musician, you're gonna do music. It's just saying, hey, look, come and do this cool thing, you know, just get involved. And we honestly see some fantastic results. Shivan can tell you more about the decor, <laughs> but it's just one of those things like, it's not a music studio without a really cool it's, rug. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? It, it, every studio has cool looking <laughs> rugs. Should we go to our sensory space? So this is our Pi Piper sensory room. And this is the most unique facility we have mm. in terms of what's available, um, in terms of interactivity. And we work with a lot of young disabled people. We work yeah. with people with SCN needs. Mm -hmm. And so what we wanted to do is create a sensory experience space. Yeah. So a space where anybody can come in and either experience music, so kind of hear it or feel it, or make music. And so we have some equipment in here that allows us to do really, really cool things. So mm -hmm. from a experience perspective, yeah. Uh, we have two quite large pieces of furniture, which you can yeah. see. We've got our um, vibroacoustic water bed. Yes. Yeah. Um, which is yeah, a heated really, water yeah. bed that vibrates with the music that we can generate within the space. Yeah. Um, These guys had a great. Yeah, time. I did. Did I you did go have, on? Yeah. 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 I've had had a, had a little experience, which is uh, yeah, really cool. It's cool, right? It's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's just you know, it's it's totally different, you know. Mm. And yeah. if, if we if you think about somebody who's hard of hearing. Yeah. or somebody who really struggles with kind of loud environments, yeah. then actually this type of way, you know, this type of way of listening to music and, yeah. and kind of consuming music yeah. can be really soothing. And it's, all, mm. it's almost like a bit of therapy in that sense. And we have a vibroacoustic beanbag, which mm. does exactly the same thing yeah. uh, in terms of, yeah, we can send signals to it. And that, that doesn't have to be from, you know, music that is like, on Spotify or whatever, it can be the sounds that we're making in the studio as well. It's really, really cool wow. stuff. It's really, yeah, yeah, but yeah. All, and I think also what's really important is that the reason why this is here is because there's nothing like it around here. There's nothing yeah. in Gloucestershire that offers this type of experience for people. So Marcus, can you just tell us a little bit more about this space here? Yeah, so we're on our main stage and uh, it's a multi-purpose stage. So today we've had our DJ collectives. Yep. So as you can see, we've got our Technic 1210s and our uh, Pioneer 800 mixer. Yeah. And so, you know, not only do we do G DJ stuff, uh, we can have band, band performances, so we've got our amplifiers behind us and we can have singers come up on stage. Um, and so, you know, in terms of kind of performances, it's, it's a live performance venue. Yeah. You know, this is a 200 capacity venue here. We also have, a fantastic sound system. Yeah. We have a Martin Audio. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, yeah. We have a Martin Audio Blackline X system, mm. um, featuring 18-inch subs, 15-inch uh, tops. Uh, we have our stage monitors as well. So we've got four stage monitors across the front, which are provided by Alto. Yeah. And again, they're really, really awesome, high-quality loudspeakers. I don't think downstairs are too happy with our. <laughs> <laughs> Loud is better, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, exactly, yeah. 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 So we have, um, we have a Behringer X32C live mixing console. So again, for a kind of, um, from a professional standpoint, we're working with equipment that is, you know, used in the industry yeah. and live, di live digital desks are used in all music venues now. Yeah. And so what we are able to do is use this kit and help train young people, young engineers use this kit and it kind of oh. gives them an experience that they would, they would get in a, in a professional music venue. Yeah. Was there talk of like having an event out so on we, the... We yeah, did yeah. have King's Jam Festival. And it was, it was there, it yeah. was, was it? It was there, yeah. yeah. 
We're in the, the sort of social space now. I have spotted the, uh, the PS5. <laughs> lucky to so it's bit, uh, Really yeah, lucky. Yeah, really. I was going to say. So this is more of kind of just a chill out area. You know, it's, it's an area where they can come in, chill out, so uh, jump on the sofas or, you know, join in on the PS5. Yeah. It's, it's just where young people can be themselves. So Marcus, Shiv, thank you guys very much for giving us a tour around this space. It's an absolutely incredible setup that you guys have got here and I'm really, really looking forward to coming back, hopefully in the not too distant future, to a couple of live gigs that you guys put on. So thank you very much for showing us around today. No problem. You're welcome, you man. Much. So there we have it guys, that concludes our tour around the music works. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I think it's a really fantastic creative space and I like the fact that they cater for everyone, regardless of whether you're into music, you know, there's a creative area for photographers, videographers, so everyone can link up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that tour and we're going to head back to the studio now. So there we have it guys, I hope you enjoyed joining me on my day out of the office today on our tour around the Music Works. Now if you did, please let us know in the comment section below. As I said earlier, this is a slightly different video for us and we're going to hopefully do a lot more of these behind the scenes and let you guys into a little bit more of sort of life here at Smart Home Sounds and the things that we get up to week by week. Now as I did mention, I've also left all of the links in the description box below for the Music Works. So if you are local or you want to find out more information about about them and what they get up to then please make sure you check them out now that is just about everything for this week's video guys so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all next time